right guys, just doing a few little odds and ends on the engine and I thought I'd bring you in for a second. Basically what I'm doing right now, I'm, I'm cleaning as well as, as doing some polishing and stuff, but um, one of the problems with this engine originally, if I can bring you to this side, is, I don't know if you can see it, my shifter shaft is actually short. Um, let me see if I can clean this up for a second. My shifter, if you can see there, has actually been uh, cut off and I'm not sure why or if something else is welded on there, but uh, a lot of the teeth that can grab a new shifter are not there. So this needs to be replaced. There's just nothing to grab onto if I were to replace the shifter. The good news is I have that exact part on my donor CL engine, which if, if, uh, if you haven't caught up to the series, it's basically a seized uh, 360 engine from a CL 360, exactly the same motor, uh, except that motor doesn't have an electric start. So that's the only difference in the case, as far as I know. That piece is good on that motor. I just, to replace it, I have to get the clutch off. I have to get the oil strainer piece off. And at the same time, I wanted to look at the oil pickup tube. Someone once mentioned to me that the CL motor had a different version of this, which uh, was good for the motor. Uh, apparently, if originally, I, I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to look into it. Originally, if it sat on its side stand and idled, this pickup uh, didn't work so well. So I'm gonna take the one off the CL and see if it's any different. But I thought I'd bring you in right here, because, you know, I don't know the history of this motor and that's one of those things. I did drain all the oil and even in this bit you see here, there's not a lot. There was a little bit of that glint of, of metal in it, but really not that much. Um, it's definitely been quite a while since it's been changed and I took the cover off the oil cleaner and at first glance I was like, hey, that's not bad. But then I realized, if I can get in close, all this stuff here on the side is actually um <laughs> like completely chunked up solid i doubt and it goes all the way around i i actually pulled out a piece when i was starting yesterday like it's unbelievable how much of that is in there like it was totally totally filled up and and i've i you know this i've done other ones this is probably the worst one i've ever seen um but it, you know it basically means you know this thing is doing its job uh, which is good. There's no big chunks. I just think this is accumulation over a long time. Um, the engine has been running. Like I did get it started before I tore it apart. I would probably consider this normal wear with, with quite a bit of neglect, but we're gonna go with it for now and see how it goes. The lesson here I think is just, you know, clean your oil filter more than once every uh, 40 years. That's the original. Um, it's been so long, I don't remember. I think they had welded on. I think the splines had uh, stripped and they just welded it on. 
um, to the original shaft. So there's my donor. Get that on the wire wheel just to clean that up. I already have a new seal on the other side. While I'm in here, I'm just gonna redo all the uh, all the seals I can get. The other couple of things you saw me take off, obviously was the, uh, the cup. So that's gonna probably just go right in the parts washer. And the oil strainer. So this is the pickup. There's, you know, there's some stuff in there. Uh, it obviously did its job. Who knows how long uh, it had been since an oil change. This one, it is noticeably longer uh, with the same mounts. So they both sit in the engine like this. And I think what traditionally happened when the when the bike was low on oil and on the side kickstand, this guy uh, was short and sometimes wouldn't pick up any oil at all. I'm gonna take that top off and just make sure that we're clean under and underneath if I can take that top off. And then he basically slips in there. The last little mod I'm, I'm, I'm gonna think about doing on these motors, so that's that's the cover, the side cover. Um, apparently at really high RPMs, this is the oil passage. Apparently with thicker oil and at high RPMs and a bad combination of both, this little spring-loaded guy doesn't allow enough oil to pass. So I took the donor cover and I've already popped that guy out. So it's basically, there's a little spring retainer um, right there it's a bit of a bit of a pain to get out but uh doable and then it's just this guy with a spring and what i figured because i have the spare the mod is to um just take a dremel and just kind of open up the two sides you don't know just just enough to let a little bit of oil on both sides so while i'm here and i'm doing all this and i have the spare part i might as well all right, small update. Oil cup is finally looking really clean. It's, uh, I actually did three rounds in the parts washer and then still had to give it a scrub. There's an O-ring that goes on here. Mine's pretty shot, so I'm gonna have to find one of those. I got that uh, on the wire wheel, so it's looking good. So this guy uh, is ready to go back in. So going back to the this piece where they talked about I've put a little notch on both the sides what I'm actually gonna do this one the retainer spring was really hard to get out and I was kind of fighting it and then I was afraid I was gonna do some damage um, so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm just going to reinstall it in the original other side case have one stock sort of oil passage and one modified oil passage and it'll be an easy swap back and forth if that's what I feel like doing. gasket still has to go on but now we can uh, start playing with the other side and the top.
so just jumping back to where I am now with the engine, got it painted where I want to get it. Basically my scheme was to have the inside of the core and the fins black, and then I wanted to polish the top and the sides. I still have more work to do on this. I actually ran out of sandpaper. So we'll get on that. Sides are starting to look great. Really happy with this scheme. I didn't want like a pure clean mirror finish. I really wanted kind of an old school hand polish kind of look and I, I think I got there. So where it is now, I'm really, really happy with. It's still waiting on gaskets, uh, O-rings and seals. Uh, a couple of ones done, but but they're, they're taking some time to get here. So, you know, obviously everything is not all buttoned up and sealed yet, but this is actually where I wanted it to get. I wanted to get it in a place where I can get it back in the bike and, and finish anything I need to finish in the frame. So I'm really digging where, you know, I am with this project now. It got put on hold for so long. I'm really happy I'm on it and I'm really excited about starting to see it come together and sort of the vision that I originally had for it once. So if you stuck around this long, thank you so much. Leave a like on the video, it helps out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't, hit the notification bell, obviously if you wanna get notifications of these videos and uh, we will see you on the next one, guys. Cheers.